Hello world and welcome back, I'm Karshu, the Great Bear of the North, and this is Louisiana Total War Redux Edition. It's a game of Empire Total War where we play as Louisiana using the Darth mod uh, game overhaul modification thing. And the reason I say Redux is because the first time I tried this, the first four videos in this series, if you've been paying attention, which you should be, I got stumped by the Cherokee. This time, however, the Cherokee are my allies, and in fact, the Iroquois, who were up here, declared war on the Cherokee, and, well, I joined the war and then I took Detroit, which is fantastic. It dramatically, well, not dramatically increases my income, but it does certainly increase my income. Um, and it, 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 it also increases my, uh, the possibility, my, my, my uh, strategic possibilities. Woo! Strategic possibilities. Um, hmm. Maybe if I got rid of the subsistence farm, I'm just, I just want to see what's going on. What can, what can I build there instead? It's only like 350 to rebuild, so maybe I can increase it to, you know, plantation or, or something like that. Maybe that'd be good. Actually, this is, oh, it's a peasant farm. And what's that? That's a plantation, low yield, subsistence. No, oh, that's, that's another legitimate plantation. Okay. But anyways, uh, this is a great, great start to this to this, uh, to this series, so, uh, let's continue, shall we? Okay, nothing much of interesting, of interest, rather, is happening between turns, which is okay, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's see, how is Demetroit doing? Uh, there we go. Okay, so I, I had taken this down, and for 300 I can build peasant farms, which, actually, the subsistence farming would have been better. Uh, so, boo for me. <laughs> boo for me. Um, I've got this, and I still can't... See, I made money. I'm supposed to make 736, but I didn't actually get that. I don't really know why. Okay, yeah, I'm not dropping growth down 10%. Uh, okay, well, I guess it's one more turn. All right. Uh, good. Somebody gained a thing. See, I'm supposed to gain 750 next turn. Why am I only gain? Why did I only gain like 100? What? Why? That's because my trade is is ble being blockaded with France. Is that why? Because that's that's not nice for you to say that I should be getting this and then not actually give it to me. Um, so let's repair some units. Is that? The only thing that I can repair. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, it occurs to me that uh, I may have opened up new trade routes because I have new territory. Um, in fact, New Spain. You're still very friendly with me. I still can't request an alliance with you. All right. Um, I can't even trade with like Venice. Why? Why not actually, like, adjoin your territory? Bah. Okay. Once more. Okie doke. Somebody gained some traits. My controller, uh, Sierra Monster de Sauvol, has gained a controller plus two management for treasury and minus four bonus to global tax income. That's, that's not a bonus. Um, what, what is my... Minister, what are my ministers like? It's my monarch that's terrible. Can I? <sighs> hmm. No, none of these guys are any good. Okay. Well, I need to increase my monies so that I can then invest my monies in other things to make more monies. All uh, right. Nobody can trade with me. So, France, can you give me money? Ah, can you give me this? Darn it. Um, can you give me money? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, Maybe then. Oh, okay. There we go. Peasant farms. Let's build that. Slowly, this will increase my wealth. But see, my income should be seven twenty-seven. 
Why isn't my income 727? That's... See, <sighs> lies. Lies. Dirty lies and statistics. Um, village is not growing. Village is not growing. I don't wanna, I don't wanna drop. Uh, for nine. Nine. The income is nine. Well, to be fair, there's only like 4,000 people there. And they're all analysts. Um, okay, this, my territories need a swift injection of something from somebody. So, you can go up to, you, my, my agent, my missionary, can start transforming people, uh, transforming, converting people into, uh, Catholics, because religious disagreement does something. Religious unrest, yeah, they don't like a religious unrest, and it causes something. Uh, but yeah, I, I need to make money soon. Yay! Building constructed! Peasant farms! But here's what I wanted to show you. Here, here's what I noticed. Check it out! This is a thing! Greece! Go, Greece! Spain is taking over some stuff, and there's Venice, and... See, I want to be able to research something. Why can't I research anything? I want educational facilities. New royal heir, Sylvie. Good for her, I guess. Um, but I should be making more money than I'm getting. That's still bothering me. So, do I get rid of a... That's 221 per turn. Uh, probably shouldn't get rid of them, seeing as they're the only ones I have there. Let's get rid of a pikeman. That's 211 per turn. Don't really need you. There we go. See, does anybody want to trade with me? Can anybody trade with me? Man, why... Why is trading so hard when you're in the new world? Just... Just, I don't know, just give stuff to other people and then take stuff from them. Like, how is it... How, how, how is it that really that hard? <sighs> See, this is just... Man... This is going so slowly. Um... Uh, at least it's 61 this time. That's better. Yeah, I'll do that. It, it will slow down my growth, but I need those funds to, you know, like, jumpstart other things. Um, there we go. And, wow, plus 37.6%. Like, two turns, the guys converted everybody into, Catholic, into Catholics. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, somebody's got a mistress. Good for him. Let's get some peasant farms. That'll be good. Tribal drill grounds. I can't even pair that. You know what? Let, let's let's burn it to the ground. Let's build it. Let's replace it with something that I actually want. Um. Yeah. I still don't. Okay. At least my income next turn should be one thousand. It's not going to be 1,000, but it should be 1,000. See, what I want to do is I want to repair these guys and then send them into Cayuga. I want to take whatever town that is. The Adirondack and Oneida and Cayuga and... Who's this? It's an iron mine. Oh, no, that belongs to the 13 colonies. Never mind. But I, I, I want that. And I can march through France to get there. But eh, I don't, I'm not doing that with a half built army. So, I know this is kind of boring, but once more, we wait. Good. We've got another Peasant Farms Michigan Territory. That will slowly start building things up, which is good. Um, my Magistrate, which will allow recruitment of some stuff, which is a good start. It's a good start. Or do I want... That's 500. I still can't even do roads. Okay. Um, my army. Is there anything in my army that I can... Sort of repair. Well, there we go. I really wish nobody were blocking my trade. It's probably pirates, because that would be like 2,000 or something per turn. That's... That's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. So, once again, we wait. Once again, not a whole heck of a lot happens. Let's see if I can repair a little bit more of my army. Because as soon as my army's done, I'm, I'm moving in. But, like, this is... 
this is kind of frustrating. I mean, I can't even see where it's being chopped off, or by whom. So, I mean, it, it should be going between me and France. But somewhere between here and France, it's completely cut off. Um, actually, I might be able to see the entire trade route. Let's see. So, oops. There's that. And who is blocking it? It's the Dutch right there, is it? Is it the Dutch? Or is it? It's, it's Portugal. No. Yeah, it's got to be Portugal, because that's the only person. Wait a second. Is my... No, my port is fine. My port is fine. I just, I don't know why I'm not trading with France. Let's see, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's not Spain. Like, this is... Oops. This over button is what I meant. We've got... The Dutch aren't blockading anything. The half is... Fine. It works. Hiya! I need monies. Eh. Excellent. A building has been constructed in Michigan Territory. And... My army guy has plus one in management. Still doesn't really help me. So you know what? I'm just going to... This is starting to get really frustrating. I'm sure it's boring for you guys to watch as well. So I'm just going to get rid of him. That should be another 200 per turn. Do that. Start repairing these guys up here. And, uh... Like... What, what do they expect me to do? What do they expect me to do? Like, growth is going down. Even after taxes. Minister, okay, ministers are bringing it up by nine. Kekionga is is going up. Uh, slowly. Slowly. Even with this, nothing's going up. Alright. Um, my agent, this guy. Let's send you up to Detroit, because... Everybody in Upper Louisiana is Catholic. Yay! And then this... There. Animism's gonna go down. Everything's... Everything Catholic is going to go up, and uh, Jesus will save us, or something. But once again, nothing. I mean, although, although this guy is starting to really start to convert people, which is great. Which is great. But it doesn't really do much. Because what I want is... Okay, my army should be finished next turn, and then I can start stomping over to Cayuga. Actually, what I should have done a while ago is, will the Iroquois pay me? Wait. I thought I was at war with them. Wait, who? Why am I not at war with them anymore? I'm so confused. I was going to attack them and take their stuff. Now I can neither attack them nor take their stuff. So, New Spain. Not ally with an enemy of your allies. So my ally, oh my ally is the Cherokee, right? Pueblo. They're also at war with the Cherokee. Okay, so maybe, maybe instead of sending guys up that way, I send them down here and I take Tejas. Maybe I take Texas. Maybe that's a thing. Ugh. Why didn't I know that I wasn't at war anymore? All right. Well, there's that. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Venice has declared war on me. And apparently I'm I'm weak now. This is an Austria in Spain man. Okay, at least it's just Venice against myself and Cherokee and France. So you know what? I'm I might just have to take Niagara as a result of this. Okay, you know what? That's it's not that bad. So at least now I'm still at war with somebody. There we go. 
Now we need to replenish units in this section. Good. Um, I still can't invest in anything because somebody is blocking my... Somebody's blocking my trade. Okay. Well, we're going to invade Venetian territory as Louisiana in 1705. This game is weird. All right. Let's see. What are you doing, Venice? You've got a bunch of bowmen, a bunch of musketmen, and one colonial militia. Lord. All right, well, I'll attack you. We shall triumph. We shall triumph. Because we outnumber them two to one. Okay, so once again, I've got my musketmen in the middle. I've got bowmen off to the left, off to the right, flanked with cavalry behind them. Two cavalry on the left, one cavalry on the right. I've got my general in the middle, and I've got the uh, braves right there in case I need them. So let's see, where is Venice? Way out there. Okay. Well, while that's going on, let's get my horsemen into a kind of a surprise position off to the left there. Let's get my other horsemen into kind of a charge position out here. And there we go. Now, once again, I'm just going to fast forward because you don't really need to see all of this. Okay. It appears Venice isn't actually going to be moving anywhere. So let's get this party started. Uh, I don't want that to be out there too much. There we go. Free my bowmen on this side. We'll take up that flank. I'm going to get my cavalry that were hiding in the forest. You are going to go out there looking to just charge down on anybody that's down there. And let's see, who else? These guys will kind of stay under the ridge of this hill, see if we can't come around on anybody. Uh, General's bodyguard is going to stay there. My braves, however, are going to go right behind their fellow First Nations allies. And, uh,. Just in case anybody tries to break through or something like that. Still nothing. Still nothing. Okay, let's... Let's get some irregulars up to there. And see if I can't, uh... Kind of draw them into a battle. Come on. Nothing. Okay, let's climb over the top there. Anything? Like where where is everybody? Where is everybody? I mean, this is what colonial militia? Yeah. So their First Nations people are, are completely hidden. Oh, there's some. No, nope, that's the Bowman. Alright. You're still not quite in range. Okay. Let's take a step forward. Oh yeah, skirmish mode. Definitely skirmish mode. Actually, as will the other musketmen. There we go. That, that should be just sort of in range. Come on, you guys have guns. Just... Okay, fine. I'll target them directly. Move until you can hit them. Why are you not shooting? You, you have guns, for a reason. There you go. Okay, you know what? Enough of this. Let's get some cavalry in here. Just make sure no. Don't charge them yet. Let's get my first line in along 
there. Three, you guys kind of go in there. Two. Let's, oops, uh, it's a little bit too far out. Let's rock this joint. But you guys just close down on them. Charge! And we'll just take them out one by one if we need to. Boom. They took out one of mine. Two. And I'm going to slaughter them. Like, this is... I, sometimes I don't really know... I mean, Venice declared war on me, right? So they must have a plan of how to... attack me. And, but I don't, I don't think they do. Um, because I don't know if the AI thinks that far ahead. But it's like, oh, this guy's sort of weak, so I'm going to stab him in the face. Even though they have no idea how they're actually going to get to the stabbing parts of their plan. There we go. Well, those guys are shattered. Completely gone. And I lost, like, 9, 13 men? That's not bad. So do you mean to take out an entire unit? Yeah, I'll take that. But the question is... Okay, so they're shattered, so they're not coming back. So let's arrange them down there, shall we? We've got kind of like this giant... Okay, no. If their bowmen are coming up, then what we need to do is run after them. Oh no, they're trying to draw me into it. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice, never get fooled again, right? You! American Seth. Um... Okay, since this isn't... I, th I think they're all just hidden in those trees. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to continue to, like, close ranks. If you will. And then when they do eventually spring that surprise, then, uh, then oh boy will I be ready for them. I'm just going to attack them from behind with my cavalry, from the sides with my bowmen, and there's no way they're all, really they're all there, are they? Can't, like, there's got to be somebody else. It could... Yeah, that's them. They're completely shattered. Like, this is... There we go. Okay, so my cavalry... You join in from there. My bowmen... Come in from that side. My other bowmen... Come in from that side. And this cavalry... Comes in from there. Uh, and everybody run, actually. Everybody run. Let's charge them from behind. There we go. Let's swing you out on mass that way. Swing you out on mass that way. We'll get everybody to run again. Good. Those troops are actually charging... Panicked into the back of their own troops. Let's get the bowmen to kind of close ranks a little bit there. Let's get these bowmen to again close ranks. Let's get cavalry to charge in. And there's the box. Nowhere to go. And I haven't even used my... Uh, my native warriors. There. Eat it, Venice. And it feels weird for me to be cheering against Venice. Well, there you go. Victory. Heroic. Thank you. Thank you very much. They lost 1,600 men. I lost 72. What are you doing, Venice? I'm going to take Niagara because you are a bunch of buffoons. 
buffoons, Venice. But that will have to wait until next turn, because I'm already far over where I want it to be. So I'm Karhu, the Great Bear of the Norse. Thank you very much for watching this. If you do like this series, and it is going much better than my previous Let's Play with uh, with this theme, um, if you do like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please link, please share it with others, do all those wonderful things that lets YouTube know that I'm kind of good at what I do, if you think that. If you don't, then just move along and watch something else. I want you to have a great day anyways. See you all next time. Ciao.